quite often on a landscape or a renovation, you have leftover materials. Now, in this case here, we've got some leftover steel reinforcement mesh from our concrete driveway. Rather than throw it out, we've got a nice little idea for it. And it involves some passion fruit. So this actual fence line here cops full sun all day. And this area here is an area that I want to turn into a bit of a kitchen garden. Now that runs off the driveway. And as you look through off the driveway, you'll also be looking onto a fence. Now, rather than just make it a plain old fence, we can turn this into something a little bit more special. So what we're going to use is this mesh and we're going to get some posts in the ground and then make a screen. Now, once the screen is made, we can then plant our passion fruit at the base and the passion fruit will just simply grow up and cover the whole screen and it's going to do it nice and quickly. Now, the beauty of using passion fruit is that it loves full sun. So if you've got an area that just gets belted with sun all day, these are the guys for you. Now, not only will they produce a nice little flower in spring, but in summer, you're gonna get this beautiful passion fruit as well. First things first, I'm gonna paint my posts, which I've got sitting over there. Once they're painted, we're gonna come back and dig the holes, and I'll show you how to build the screen. Alrighty, so here's our cypress post. Now, I've gone for a rough sawn cypress, so basically what that means is that it hasn't had that final machining down to a 90 mil post. It's 100 mil, so I've still got 10 mil of skin around the post and it's rough in texture. That really protects it from all the weather that it'll get and rotting and, and whatnot. So great idea when you're working outside, use a rough saw in Cypress because they stay straight and they stay in the ground for a long, long time. Now, to add to that as well, I'm also going to give it a coat of stain. Now, I'm using some uh, Sick and Sea Toll BLX Pro and I thought I'd use a walnut this time. The walnut colour is going to give us a nice contrast against that back fence and also it's going to work well with our steel once it's all rusted up. So it's had a little bit of a stir before, but I'm going to give it a little bit more of a stir and get all that colour nice and even. Alrighty, now, give you a little tip. Don't start staining this one first because you want to be able to lean over there and not get this all on your pants. So always start with the one that's furthest away from you and work back towards you. Nice, even stroke so when you put this on you don't put too much on all at once but you want to make sure you also whatever you do put on that you lay it off nice and ev evenly and laying off is just basically getting the brush and running it past so you don't have any thick areas in there it's all nice and even another good tip is you'll notice that i've set myself up over an area where if i do get some drips i don't have to worry about it too much when you're doing this sort of work, it can get pretty messy underneath, so doing it this way, you don't have to worry at all. All right, so I'm gonna keep going with this. Two hours time, I can give them another coat. And in between, and while we're waiting for them to dry, I can get my holes dug. 